my colleague Rao Bahadur Srinivasan and I have the honor to place before you the point of view of the depressed classes of India who represent one-fifth of the total population of British India. Our point of view is this. The British government in India should be replaced by a government of the people, by the people and for the people. The depressed classes have traditionally welcomed the British as their deliverers from the tyranny and oppression of the Orthodox Hindus. Before the British, we could not enter the temple. Can we enter now? Before the British, we were denied entry into police and military forces. Is that career open to us now? Our wounds have remained as open sores and they have not been righted. Although 150 years of British rule have rolled away. The Hindus claim them only to deny them appropriate rights. The Mohammedans refuse to recognize their separate existence because they fear that their privilege may be curtailed by the admission of a new arrival. Depressed by the government, oppressed by the Hindus and disregarded by the Muslims, we are left in a most intolerable position of utter helplessness to which I am sure there is no parallel. We hold that the problem of the depressed classes will never be solved until they get power in their own hands. Given the present temper of the country, no constitution will be workable, which is not acceptable by the majority of the people. The time when Britishers were to choose and India was to accept is gone, never to return.